Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve a nice exponential equation. This equation is x to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to 0. We will find out what is the value of x in this exponential equation. So we will find out here is 5 answer. Because of that, here is exponent is 5 x to the power 5. We will find out here is 5 root. Okay, let's start. First of all, we know that we know that x to the power n minus 1 it will be x minus 1 times x to the power n minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus 1 we know that this rules now at this moment we are find out here is x to the power 5 minus 1 so i can see easily here is x to the power 5 minus 1 this expression here is x minus 1 so here is x take here is negative 1 and it will be x to the power n minus 1 here is 5 minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 2 5 minus 2 plus x to the power 5 minus 3 plus x to the power 5 minus 4 then I can see easily here is x to the power 5 minus 5 according to this law now at this moment you can see easily here is x minus 1 times and it will be x to the power 4 5 minus 1 it will be 4 plus x to the power 3 plus x to the power 2 5 minus 3 it will be 2 and here is x to the power 1 plus x to the power 0 it will be 1 so we find out here is a nice equation x minus 1 times x to the power 4 plus x cube plus x squared plus x plus 1 it will be 0 because of that this equation it will be 0 is equal to 0 now I can see easily here is this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 here is two cases so our first case it will be x minus 1 is equal to 0 and we'll find out other case x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 plus x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 now at this moment if i move on this one in this side it will be x is equal to 1 so we'll find out x1 it will be 1 this is our first answer but at this moment we'll find out 4 root so here is x to the power 4 this is x to the power 3 this is x squared plus x plus 1 now i divide both side x square so it will be x to the power 4 power is power divide x square plus x to the power 3 divide x square plus x to the power 2 divide x to the power 2 plus x divide x to the power 2 plus 1 over x square 0 divide x square will be 0 so i divide both side by x square now at this moment you can see easily this 4 minus 2 according to exponential law this exponent minus this exponent it will be x to the power 2 plus and this divide this it will be x because of that x to the power 3 divide x square it will be x and here x square plus over x square it will be 1 but in this expression you can see it will be 1 over x plus and here is 1 over x square is equal to 0 now at this point you can see here is x square plus and this value it will be 1 over x square so we'll find out here is x square plus 1 over x square plus and here is x plus 1 over x this 1 over x and here is we are take here is positive 1 is equal to 0 so we'll find out here is a x square plus 1 over x square plus x plus 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 0 now at this moment let x plus 1 over x it will be y we'll let x plus 1 over x is equal to y now at this moment if i use both set whole square so x plus 1 over x whole to the power 2 is equal to y square now you can see easily it will be a plus v whole square it will be a square plus 2ab plus b square according to this law this expression it will be x square plus 2 times x times 1 over x plus 1 over x square is equal to y square 
we know that it will be a square plus 2ab plus b square. Then you can see that this axis x, x cancel. So if I cancel out, we are find out here is x square x square plus 1 over x square is equal to y square minus 2. I just move on this 2 in this side, it will be negative 2. So we know that x plus 1 over x is equal to y and x square plus 1 over x square is it will be y square minus 2. So we will put this value in this equation. Here it will be x square plus 1 over x square it will be y square minus 2. I take this value here so it will be y square minus 2. Now plus and we know that x plus 1 over x it will be y. So I put this value here plus 1 is equal to 0. So this expression it will be this. Okay. Now here y square plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So we find out it is a nice quadratic equation. This equation it will be y square plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So you can see that here is y is equal to it will be negative v b is 1 plus minus square root b square. I mean here is b is equal to 1 square minus 4 ac is 1 and c is negative 1 over 2. Then you can see easily here is y is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. Because of that minus minus it will be plus 4 plus 1 it will be 5. So we are finding out here is two answer or first answer is minus 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and other sensor we find out here is y is equal to negative 1 negative square root 5 over 2. Recall y is equal to x plus 1 over x. Now I put this value in this equation. So I can say really this y it will be x plus 1 over x. Well, that first of all y is equal to x plus 1 over x is equal to minus 1 plus square root 5 over 2. Now in this expression you can say here is least common value x. So this x times x it will be x squared plus x x it will be 1 is equal to minus 1 plus square root 5 over 2. Then if I multiply this value, this value and this value, this value it will be 2 x squared plus 2 times 1 it will be 2 and here you can see easily it will be negative x plus square root 5x. Now you can see easily here is 2x square plus 2 plus x minus square root 5x is equal to 0. Now I can see easily here is 2x square and if I take here is x is common, so I can say it will be 1 minus square root 5x. I take here is x is common plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, at this moment, I can say that here is least x is equal to, we know that it will be minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Here is v is equal to 1 minus square root 5, so negative and 1 minus square root 5. And here is plus minus square root v square. So v will be 1 minus square root 5 whole to the power 2 minus 4 ac is 2 c is 2 over 2 a is 2. Here is a is 2 and c is 2. Now at this moment you can see that here is x is equal to minus 1 plus square root 5. Because of that plus minus it will be minus 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 it will be plus and here is plus minus square root we know that it will be a minus b whole square, it will be a square minus 2ab plus v square root 5 whole to the power 2, it will be 5 squared which cancel and here is negative a times 2, it will be 16. Now at this moment you can see easily here x is equal to minus 1 plus square root 5 plus minus square root 5 plus 1 it will be 10 so uh, 5 plus 1 it will be 6 6 minus 16 it will be negative 10 and you can see that it will be minus 2 square root 5 over 4. Now I can see that here is x is equal to minus 1 plus square root 5 plus minus 
square root. I can see that here is minus 1 is common, so it will be 10 plus 2 square root 5 over 4. Now, here is x is equal to minus 1 plus square root 5 plus minus, we know that square root minus 1, it will be i. Here is i. Square root negative 1, it will be i. And here is square root. Because of that, here is square root down 10 plus 2 square root 5. And I can see that here is 2 is common. So, it is no need. And here is over 4. This is the value of x in this exponential equation because of that here is two below here is plus and the other value is negative now you can solve this question this term same case same so you solve this question same method and here is we are find out two value so our final answer is x is equal to one and x is equal to this value and others two value here so I solve this question, this method. No problem. You can solve this question, this method. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.